Hi, welcome back to my channel. Our channel now hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for always watching my video lessons and subscribing to my channel. I hope you'll continue on supporting my channel until we achieve another milestone. Huh? Yes! As you can see, I'm still in these clothes. My training with Naruto is not done yet, and this time he wants me to train with Boruto. Anyway, in our previous lessons, we had an introduction about simple aspects of verbs in our lesson number 8. We also learned about the simple past tense of regular verbs in lesson number 9 and simple past tense of irregular verbs in lesson number 10. If you fail to watch our videos about it, I put its link in the description box below. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, let's have a spelling. I want you now to get a pen and paper. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. Spelling number one. Spell the word coat. Coat means repeat or copy out a group of words from a text or speech typically with an indication that one is not the original author or speaker, just like our examples here. All of those are examples of quotes. To give a specific example, here's a quote from Nelson Mandela. It always seems impossible until it is done. 2. Spell the word opponent. Opponent means someone who competes against or fights another in a contest, game, or argument. Our best example here is the game between Minnesota Vikings versus Cincinnati Bengals. Vikings secured a huge goal difference while keeping their opponent Bengals goalless up to the final minutes of 4th quarter, 33-0. 3. Spell Overwhelm. Overwhelm means defeat completely. Our best example here is the bout between Manny Pacquiao and Ricky Hatton. The Philippine pride overwhelmed the British boxer through a strong left hook to the jaw which ended the bout with a knockout in the second round held at MGM Grand Las Vegas, Nevada, United States on May 2, 2009. Four Spell Clover Clobber means hit someone or something very hard. For example, in the ninth inning of the game between St. Louis Cardinals and San Francisco Giants, Barry Bonds clobbered the ball deep to the right field giving him enough time to swiftly dash to the home run and equalize the game for the Cardinals. Last, number 5, spell the word wallop. Wallop means strike or hit someone or something very hard. Our best example, Fernando Gonzalez walloped a 120 miles per hour return into Randex Stepanex bottom during the third set of Sonny Erickson Open held at Miami, Florida Stadium on March 3, 2009. Now, let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our spelling. Done checking, then let's move on. Simple present tense is used to express an action in present time. It can be habitual, meaning to say usual actions or daily event, or it can be a universal fact. It is used to express an action in present time which is usually done on a regular basis. For example, Boruto says, I go to school. 
it is a daily activity of a student like Boruto to go to school. So, such actions are expressed by present simple tense. Another example, Naruto says, I work in an office. It tells about a usual action of a person that he works in an office on a regular basis. For Naruto's case, since he is a Hokage now, he works in the Konoha's Hokage's office. <sighs> now, let's talk about the structure of a sentence in simple present tense. Let's discuss the rules. First, take note that there are two kinds of sentences. One is the positive sentence and two is the negative sentence. A positive sentence tells you that something is so. A sentence that tells you something is not so is called a negative sentence. It contains a negative word like not, never, no, no one, nobody, none, or a negative verb like isn't, can't, or won't. In other words, you can easily distinguish which sentence is positive and which sentence is negative by simply remembering that a negative sentence always contains words like no in it. If a sentence doesn't have these negative words, then it is automatically a positive sentence. In order to easily recall the rule of simple present tense for a positive sentence, just remember the formula subject plus base form of the verb plus object. Object means the receiver of the action and subject means the doer of the action or the topic of the sentence. Note, if the subject in a sentence is he, she, it, singular or proper noun, then s or es is added to the base form of the verb in the sentence. Examples I write rhymes for my rap. He gets up early in the morning. Sun rises in east. On the other hand, for the rule in negative sentence, just remember the formula subject plus auxiliary verb plus not plus base form of the verb plus object. Auxiliary or also known as helping verbs are used together with the base form of the verb to show the verb's tense or to form a negative or question. The most common auxiliary verbs are have, be, and do. Be verbs indicate a state of being and be verbs are am, are, is, was, where, been, and being. We only use be as to be. Anyway, to continue, a simpler formula to remember is subject plus do not or does not plus the base form of the verb plus object. Examples, I do not write rhymes for my rap. He does not get up early in the morning. Sun does not rise in east. Note, in negative sentence, auxiliary verb do or does along with not is used. If the subject in a sentence is he, she, it, singular or proper noun, then does not is used after subject in a sentence. If subject is I, we, they, you, or plural, then do not is used after subject in sentence. S or ES is not added to main verb in negative sentence. Furthermore, the rule of simple present tense for interrogative sentence, a type of sentence that asks a question, just remember auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb plus object, and the other formula is do or does plus subject plus base form of the verb plus object. Examples, do I write rhymes for my rap? Does he get up early in the morning? Does sun rise in east? Note, if the subject in a sentence is he, she, it, singular or proper noun, then the sentence is starts with auxiliary verb does. If the subject in a sentence is I, we, they, you, or plural, then the sentence is starts with auxiliary verb do. S or ES is not added to main verb in interrogative sentence. Here are additional examples for positive sentences. 1. I sing a song. He drinks coffee. They focus on their experiment. Birds chirp. Naruto reaches home in time. Water maintains its surface level. For negative sentences, I do not sing a song. He does not drink coffee. They do not focus on their experiment. Birds do not chirp. Naruto does not reach home in time. 
water does not maintain its surface level. And finally, for interrogative sentences. Do I sing a song? Does she drink coffee? Do they focus on their experiment? Do birds chirp? Does Naruto reach home in time? Does water maintain its surface level? Remember the following rules of simple present tense. 1. For positive sentence, the formula is subject plus base form of the verb plus object. 2. For negative sentence, subject plus auxiliary verb plus not plus base form of the verb plus object. And the second formula is subject plus do not or does not plus the base form of the verb plus object. And then last, number 3. For interrogative sentence, auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb plus object and the other formula is do or does plus subject plus base form of the verb plus object now let's have an activity i'm going to read the sentence then you're going to choose the letter of the correct simple present tense of the verb to complete the sentence one Anne and peggy too late which of the following is the correct verb for it a m b r c b D is If your answer is B, then you are correct. <laughs> 2. What time the film begin? A do B dos C dos or letter D don't If your answer is C, then you are correct. <laughs> 3. They wear school uniform. A. Don't. B. Doesn't. C. Don't. Or letter D. Doesn't. If your answer is A. Then, you are correct! 4. The lesson at 8.30 a.m. A. Start B. Starts C. Starts Or letter D. Starts If your answer is B, then you are correct! 5. The museum open on Mondays. A. Doesn't. B. Doesn't. C. Don't. Or letter D. Don't. If your answer is B, then you are correct. For me to know if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For your today's seat work, you're going to fill in the spaces with the correct form of verb in simple present tense. I'll give you a minute to answer the seat work. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video. up let's check your work here's the answer key for our today's seat work all set 
I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know the rules in simple present tense of verbs. Yes, I know. It's already late and I really need to go home. Don't worry, I'll return these clothes to Naruto. Please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shoutout of you in our next video. Speaking of shoutout, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shoutout to the following people. Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!